In our last video, we looked at this amazing countdown clock God gave in the Bible to signal the start of the eternal kingdom. Count four kingdoms, then 11 rulers within the fourth kingdom. But do you know it got more specific than that? Daniel didn't just give landmarks, he gave the distance as well. The people of Judah were in captivity in Babylon. The Babylonians had sacked Jerusalem and destroyed the first temple that Solomon built. Daniel received a prophecy that says 70 weeks had been decreed for his people and his holy city, Jerusalem, until the next judgment. The word translated week here just means a heptad or set of seven. It's a set of seven years similar to the way we say decade. It was a total of 490 years. It says from the decree to rebuild Jerusalem to an anointed one, there would be seven weeks or 49 years and 62 weeks, 434 years. That accounts for a total of 483 years. The last seven years, the 70th week or heptad would be a turning point in world history. But when was the decree that would mark the time for them to start counting? Well, the Persians defeated the Babylonians and Judah fell under Persian rule. The decree allowing them to rebuild was given in 457 BC by Artaxerxes I, king of Persia. You can see it in Ezra chapter 7. Counting 483 years from 457 BC brings us right here to the start of Jesus' ministry in 27 AD. It says, in the middle of the final week, he, the anointed one, would put an end to sacrifice and grain offering. That brings us here to Jesus' crucifixion, which marked the last received sacrifice. Look at Hebrews chapter 9, verse 26. But now, once at the consummation of the ages, he has been revealed to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. Hebrews 10, 14, for by one offering, he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. So far, we've accounted for the first three and a half years, which mark the beginning of the generation prior to the war. The final three and a half years, the last half of the final week, began at the end of the final generation to live under the temple system. The Gospels detail those first three and a half years. The rest of the New Testament details the years from the crucifixion to the years just prior to the fall of Jerusalem, which happened in that last three and a half years. We learn about those mainly through the writings of Josephus, a historian and eyewitness of to the events. However, in the Bible, you can read the prophecies about those events in Daniel 12, the book of Revelation, and many other Old Testament prophecies, including right here in Daniel 9. Look at verse 26. Then after the 62 weeks, an anointed one will be cut off and have nothing, and the people of the prince who is to come will destroy the city and the sanctuary, and its end will come of the flood. Even to the end, there will be war. Desolations are determined. The fall of Jerusalem in judgment preceded by the cutting off of an anointed one prophesied hundreds of years before it happened was fulfilled in Christ's crucifixion and the subsequent destruction of Jerusalem by the Roman armies. This gives us confidence that the Bible is true and Jesus is who he says he is. Peace and have fun exploring all the extraordinary evidence.